Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Hello everyone, today we are going to discuss one of the another concept that is copyright which is one, uh, one of the species of intellectual property rights which we have discussed in earlier lecture. So, intellectual property rights is a journal in character or genus in nature, but one of uh, there are so many species of these intellectual property rights one of that is copyright. So, today we are going to discuss copyright. So, we can say that copyright is an exclusive right granted to the author by the state or the government for limited period of time. So, it is exclusive right which means a author has right to exclude all other people that is uh, we can say it is negative in character also. So, here the limited period of time is lifetime plus 60 years in India. As we have copyright act uh, which was enacted in 1957 there the time period for copyright is lifetime plus 60 years. So, as per Macaulay it is a tax on the readers for the purpose of giving a encouragement or bounty to the writers. So, why writers or authors write something for the society for their own interest or for the benefit of the society. So, many people are there who have written for the benefit of a society at their lifetime they could not get anything, but after their lifetime they are renowned author now they are renowned writers for example, Prem Chand or all other people are also there. So, why uh, this they must be increased. So, as we have discussed earlier also there is an uh, principle of quid pro quo. So, quid pro quo means which we have to give something return to those author. So, here we are also giving exclusive right of lifetime plus 60 years for them as an exclusive right. So, we can see this logo on so many uh, these books, CDs or we can say a number of other articles are also there. This means that particular product is copyright. We can see on photographs also, we can see on an artistic work also, we can see on uh, some computer programs also, CDs also. Uh, these movies, uh, these DVDs also. So, what it means? This is copyright work. No one can make copies without the permission of that author. So, co copyright as this name implies also the right to copy. Who has right to copy? So, author has right to copy or if any other person want to copy that particular thing, he has to take permission that is the main objective of in, uh, this copyright. So, there are certain features of copyright, we can say there are characteristics of this copyright otherwise everything is public domain. So, if we, we are already discussed it is an exclusive right, here the author has right to exclude all other person from using that thing unless until he will take permission from author. So, another uh, this feature of this uh, copyright is statutory right, what it means it is uh, allowed uh, this is created by copyright act 1957. So, if this act is not there we cannot protect this. So, that is why it is called it is a property which, which is created by particular statute and that statute is copyright act 1957 in India. So, another concept is characteristic of this copyright is it is limited in character and it is not absolute in nature. Why? There are some limitations uh, relating to this act, relating to this right, these rights are not absolute in nature. So, under section 52 if we study this copyright act, section 52 specifically related with the, uh, the uh, we can say exceptions that is called principle of fair dealing in India and in USA or UK there is doctrine of fair use. So, there, there are exception that we are saying this is limited in character and these are also limited in time also, lifetime, lifetime of author after death of author uh, this 60 year is granted to the legal hires of that particular author. 
so i am using this term author again and again so author is uh, everyone who has created the work or, or subject matter of copyright whether it's a literary work artistic work or producing the film or producing the music also so this title author is assigned to everyone irrespective of his work under copyright act so that's why i am saying uh, this act is this right is limited in character unless until this time is existing or that particular work is existing this uh, right will be there otherwise it will be expired so another important thing is registration is not compulsory under this why when it particular work is created by an author it is comes under copyright automatically so whoever write and poem in his rough book also who is uh, writing story in his notebook also it is automatically comes under copyright there is no need of registration under uh, this copyright it is the beauty of copyright if you have not registered your uh, this work under copyright you are also protected by this copyright act for unregistered work also unpublished work also for example for dissertations or thesis also they are also protected by uh, under copyright act so although this registration is not compulsory but for in the sake of commercial interest it is advisable you should go for the registration although it is not mandatory but again i am saying it is advisable for registration of uh, copyright another important concept is quality is not necessary how we can see a number of cds number of books uh, which we are also getting as a specimen or number of other things are also there poems or stories which are not good or which are not have qualitative character but all of them has entitled for copyright so there is no such thing criteria ki uh, the quality must be there to get copyright any person who has created anything any juggler anything anything you are performing in that uh, on the stage or anything you are creating writing or making a painting everything is comes under copyright so quality is is not an essential for registration of copyright another concept important concept is idea cannot be copyrightable so many people have ideas for example in movies romance season one idea one hero heroine is there and they have fallen in love affair and one villain came and some fighting is there and last marriage is taken place so in so many 80% of bollywood movies the same idea is there so what uh, is requirement to get idea copyrightable that is it must be tangible in nature tangible means you have to write in something it must be tangible in nature it should be expressed in certain form it you have to express in writing or in physical form after that that can be registrable under copyright otherwise mere idea in your mind is not copyrightable there are so many cases where people trying to go for uh, uh, claiming their idea as a copyright after someone has created so if someone is created and get copyright the person who has a mere idea in his mind it is not copyrightable so there is no we can say we, he can't sue another person on mere idea so these are features of copyright so now there are certain subject matter of copyright as under these subjects copyright can be granted to the person who has created this work so first of all we can say it is a literary work literary work is the most important work for all the academicians all the scientists students so literary work is also in we can say writers or the we can say who is uh, this creating poem also so literary work includes we can say novels poem or we can say uh, dissertations theses or whatever you are writing assignments research papers everything is comes under the this literary work we can also say compilation of data which is also one of the subject matter of this copyright that is also comes under this this uh, literary work so it is related with the literature so another aspect is for example another slide i will discuss questions papers are also covered under the this literary work so there are so many case law relating to this liter literary work also so one of the important subject matter of copyright is literary work now second form is uh, the subject matter is artistic work any person who is creating some art in the form of painting or any other form on the some this chart 
that is also comes under this artistic work. You can take example of M. F. Hussain or you can also see Picasso. So, here they are also entitled for this copyright. So, uh, these paintings made by these persons or the painters or artists can be covered under this copyright. Another important aspect is dramatic work. So, under dramatic work you can see example in Dil to Pagal hai, in, in one Maya uh, this drama was uh, this uh, conducted on the stage in movie Dil to Pagal hai. Yes, Saru Khan was there and the Madhuri Dixit and Krishma Kapoor was there. So, something is drama which is uh, this performed on the stage that is also covered under the dramatic work under this copyright that is also entitled for copyright. Another important concept cinematograph films every film on in visual mode plus audio mode both modes are there they are covered under the movies these movies Bollywood movies or Hollywood movies every movie is covered under the this cinematograph this films they are covered under this copyright. So, you can take example of any movie they are covered under this it may be without sound also with sound also, but visual thing must be there. So, another subject matter is sound recording. So, any sound any music which is played by someone for example, A R Rahman, Annu Malik or all these persons they are covered under the sound recording musical work another we can also say if some person is writing a lyrics for example, Javed Akhtar is there. So, Javed Akhtar's work lyrics is covered under literary work, but music created for particular song is covered under the sound recording or musical work and this particular movie is made by this producer that is comes under the cinematograph films. So, every person these for example, we can take example of border movie under border movie the song uh, is we can say uh, this sing by the Sonu Nigam. Uh, this uh, singer is Sonu Nigam and songs uh, are written by lyrics are written by uh, Javed Akhtar and song uh, this movie was produced by J P Datta and directed by some another person. So, every person has contributed by its own form. So, everyone has copyright in different these things although producer is also called here author singer is also called here author uh, lyrics writer Javed Akhtar Saab is also called author in this. So, we can bifurcate everyone here as an author in their particular subject matter. So, now another aspect important aspect is computer programs. So, there are two types otherwise source code or object code. So, that is the technical these things and one controversy is also there with respect to subject matter of copyright it is covered under the uh, we can say copyright in India, but in USA it is covered under the patents. So, there is some controversies also there, but we are in India we are going for the uh, this we are covered this computer program as a uh, this under copyright. So, another important concept compilation of data for example, I am taking roll number names father's name or address email ID of the, the persons or the students sitting in this class. So, here I compile those data of all these students 60 or 80 students in that case whether that amounts to copyrightable or not and another student also compile same data. So, there is also some controversy regarding uh, this uh, compilation of data, but this compilation of data is covered under the literary work. There is two doctrine also, but that is we will cover in another uh, this uh, lecture the sweat of bro or modicum of creativity. What it now is uh, this uh, courts are saying there must be some minimum creativity must be there in your copyright work. What it means there must be some form of originality you have to do some work in that particular uh, this uh, uh, this uh, subject matter otherwise it will not amount to copyright. So, last one is architecture work. So, architecture work also covered under this if any architecture makes particular work relating to architect that is also covered under this architecture work. So, there are two another points are also there this uh, copyright includes uh, yesterday we have also discussed in uh, intellectual property rights uh, there is non industrial property and under non industrial property it includes 
copyright and related rights. So, these subject matters are specifically given under the section 13 and 14 of copyright act, but there is another thing that is called related rights. So, we will also discuss the related rights, it includes performers, performance rights and broadcasting rights. We will discuss in detail in uh, next slides. So, these two things are also we will cover performance rights and broadcasting right under this copyright also. Because as the time passes new things are coming into existence and because of technology most affected these uh, IP uh, this subject matter is copyright. Most affected thing within fraction of second you can send any work to any other person in the form of PDF, in the form of some uh, these JPG or other these MP3 or MP4 uh, format. You can send 2000 of person that is why yesterday I told you linear algebra is not applicable on intellectual property rights. Otherwise, it is applicable on other uh, tangible form of property or physical form of property, but under this intellectual property or copyright work algebra is not applicable on copyright. So, now what is copyright as per section 14 of Indian Copyright Act 1957? It simply says for the purpose of this act because it is a statutory right. So, that is why it is saying for the purpose of this act copyright means the exclusive right as we have discussed authorized right to exclude all other persons. Copyright means the exclusive right subject to the provision of this act to do or authorize the doing of any act. So, what it means it is right to copy or that author has authorized the doing of any of the following act. We will discuss these acts he can do himself or he can authorize some another person, he can assign the work or he can give license to any other person or any other company relating to these acts. For example, I am discussing only literary, dramatic or musical work. So, these uh, not computer program, but literary, dramatic or musical work. So, he can do himself or give to any other person in case of to reproduce the work in any material form including storing of it in any medium or by electronic means. If we see any book, there is one this logo is there for example, this C in circle and with that it is written the name of author or name of company. If there is a name of company for example, Eastern book company or we can say universal book company. So, what it means author has given or assign his right to the uh, that particular company whether it is Eastern or Universal or, or Taylor and Francis or any other companies there. So, he can assign or he can uh, uh, assign his work to reproduce in any other material form. It may be in the books, it may be in the CDs, it may be in the PDF or it may be in the ebooks also. Nowadays ebooks are also there uh, you can download or you can also buy from so many e platform uh, for example, Amazon or other Flipkart they are also selling books in the form of e uh, in the form of e books. So, you can also uh, this assign your work to any other person for that and you have you can also do these thing reproduce as a copyright owner. So, if we also see the uh, second or third page of any book there is also written no part of this book or this material can be reproduced in any manner whether it is in material form or electronic form or we can say reptographic form. So, all these things are clearly denied that is why this copyright is also called negative right. As we have also discussed in intellectual property rights the characteristic of intellectual property rights these rights are negative in nature why because these restrain the whole world from using these work. So, another act is to issue copies of the work. First, you can reproduce the work in any form electronic form or we can say physical or material form or you can also issue number of copies. There is no foundation you can issue copies of in 10, 20 or 100 or 1000 it depends on you. 
you can sell the, those copies to the public not being a copies already in circulation what means is the original work must be there you can reproduce in any manner where you can also issue copy of that to the public also another important aspect is you can perform those work in the public if you have written a particular uh, drama in uh, this written form you can also perform in the public also you can communicate it in the public also you can also make you can become a performer also here you can broadcast in on tv or radio also so and you can also uh, perform in journal public in auditorium also so it depends on you being an author being a creator of your work you can do these thing in public also that is the most important thing these are the related rights also you can also make movies cinematograph films you can make sound recording also for example chetan bhagat also sold his novels stories to number of other person for example two state is there or half girlfriend is there and so many movies are there which was made by some some producer by buying the uh, stories from Chetan Bhagat. So, three years was also made on the five point someone. So, that you can also make or authorize some person to make movies on your work. So, another important uh, concept is translation. You can also translate your work in another any uh, languages also. For example, Ravindranath Tagore written Gitanjali or other these uh, Gora or other uh, novels in Bengalis, but in uh, so many people, yeah, uh, other people translate that work in English. That's why Ravindana Tagore was uh, work was recognized by whole world. So you can also authorize some another person to translate your work in any other uh, languages. You can also make adaptation of the work. So there are so many opportunities under this copyright. That's why it is called octopus in character. This copyright work is also, we can say, octopus in character. Why? There are so many rights attached to it. How we can say it is positive in character, it is negative in character, it is also having moral rights, it is al also having economic right, it is also having neighboring rights also. You can reproduce, you can this perform in the public also, you can broadcast it, you can it sell it in digital medium to the digital media also to Netflix or Hotstar or so many of these, uh, this digital platform are also there. So that is why it is called octopus in character. The most important thing relating to or the beauty of copyright, you can claim up to lifetime plus 60 years. So very good economic as well as moral right of author we can claim from this copyright. You can also translate adaptation of work specifying this first to think this section 14 is there where you can claim all these things relating to that. So that is why I am saying it is octopus in character. You can do number of things. You can also make this uh, t-shirt relating to that. You can also make for example someone has made uh, this uh, toy of uh, Dilair Mendy. So Dilair Mendy filed a case against that toy maker ki how you can make this uh, toy uh, re which resembles to me and that toy playing uh, this singing the song of Dilair Mendy. So th that is also comes under this. So that is why it is called this copyright is octopus in character. So there are certain exceptions under this copyright act. So till now we are saying ki this is exclusive right. No one can make use of this uh, copyright work without permission of the author. But there are certain exception because in starting I told you about this copyright is statutory in character means this statute copyright act 1950 act assign this, uh, this copyright to author. But to protect the interest of general public there are certain exceptions there are certain limitations where any other person can use the copyright work without permission of author. So one of those things that special section is inserted in sex copyright act 1957 that is called uh, we can that uh, we can say that is doctrine of fair dealing. Ki one person can deal with that particular work, he copy that particular work 
and up to some fair uh, level. So, first of all, that is important thing is personal use. Any person who is buying a particular CD or particular book, he can this use up to personal level. It should not be for commercialized use. So, personal use is allowed and this private use is allowed. So many times these coaching centers are also distributing the notes to the students who have joined coaching center. For example, Fit G is there, Vidya Mandir classes are there or other physics wala is there. So, all these persons are giving notes and with particular logo of their company or their coaching center. So, they are for private circulation only. You cannot and distribute these things in general public without permission of these coaching center owners. So, that is for personal use. Another important concept is academic and research purpose. So, copyright work although negative in character, but there is very good exception under this uh, section 52, where any teacher, any researcher, any student or any other person relating to university or college or schools or uh, to continue education or we can say distance education can use those uh, particular work for academic and research purpose. For academic research anyone can use, we can also use any research paper or any book for our PhD, for our we can say dissertation, master degree program or any other assignment also. So, but we must acknowledge the person, acknowledge the uh, this particular article from which we have copied certain part of that and it must be up to certain amount or certain degree. It is not be whole copied by uh, these uh, particular person, otherwise it amounts to infringement. So, there should not be infringement up to certain limit you can use these things. We can play movies in classroom also for the uh, we can say education purposes. So, that is very important section and two, three important cases are there. We can note down here also uh, one important case is DU photocopy case. Infringement and remedy lecture we will do there. Here Justice Andlow has done commendable work to protect the interest of students uh, of universities and colleges also. Here uh, these Oxford University Press or Cambridge University Press or private publisher has filed a case against Rameshwari photocopier who has won uh, this photocopy uh, Xerox uh, shop in uh, this uh, Delhi School of Economics. So, there they have filed a case against that for uh, we can say this infringement of copyright, but the justice and law has protect the interest by keeping in view of the technological changes we have uh, nowadays and to protect the uh, interest of students as well as teachers by passing a judgment uh, in, in favor of students and teachers by taking exception under section 52 that is doctrine of fair dealing. So, very important judgment we will do in next uh, lecture and one another important case is author guild versus author guild versus Google incorporation. So, here also this Google has very big project relating to the scanning of books from different world best universities to upload those books on the Google books. So, so many authors objected to that, but uh, this US court which is also second circuit court of US has also protect the interest of all the persons and allowed Google incorporation this project to upload the books and which was uh, not passed in favor of authors also, but they are giving option either to accept the offer of Google otherwise Google will remove the books of authors who have objected to upload their books for that. So, very these are the two very important judgments which was passed by the this US court also and Delhi high court also. So, that is for the academic and research purposes. So, another important thing is it should not be used for commercial purpose, it should not be used for the profit. So, if you are using personally then it is exempted, but 
on this nai sadak delhi or in daryaganj so many people are making this photocopy of that particular copyright material and giving it to the to students at very less rate so that is for commercial use that is we can say uh, this violates no copyright and it amounts to infringement another important exception under this copyright is you can review any work you can also review movies you can also review some books you can review the work of another person you can uh, give good remark also give good feedback also you can also give negative remark also that is also covered under the this exception of uh, this copyright act so you can also review you can also criticize that work also as i am saying you can give good feedback you can also give bad feedback also but nowadays so many people are taking personal uh, to that ki how you uh, how dare you to give uh, this negative remark to my work so that is not covered under copyright but as a outset it is exempted under this copyright so reporting current events is also covered under this ex exception so here you can also add facts facts cannot be copyrightable so current events are also just like a facts so any person can quote facts in the form of uh, in books also in the newspaper also you can also report in different newspaper different tv channels in uh, uh, new channels also in radio also uh, current events these are not copyrightable so facts and current events are not copyrightable so that is also comes on news reporting reporting current event in magazine also or uh, in news reporting also they are exempted under this copyright act so another aspect is legislative uh, this proceedings legislative proceedings are also there any lok sabha rajya sabha or we can say vidhan sabha vidhan parishad proceedings which are in writing form or physical form or tangible form you, we can make copy of that for our first the exception is there for personal use we should not make commercialize of that but here in all these cases we can make use this work without permission of author that is the beauty of copyright so this copyright act is making balance between the private interest or uh, of particular author with the interest of general public and students also that is making balance and that is very good thing on the part of that if someone is uh, it laps or it is lacking with the these particular balance then judiciary is also protecting the interest of these authors as well as the general public so this du photocopy case google books case are very good example where judges has done commendable work to protect the interest of general public so here legislative proceedings are also comes under exception and judicial proceeding any supreme court judgment high court judgment which are in written form they are also covered under this uh, this judicial proceedings and any student of law or any other person can take print out of that can get photocopy of that for personal use but it should not be for profit that is comes under that to protect the interest of author also because intellectual property rights are private rights we are uh, protecting the private right of an author to increase them so there must be balance and by inserting the, this section 52 this uh, this section has made balance between public interest with the private interest also so that is very important section under copyright act so this copyright act is giving some rights to an author so these rights are uh, we can say uh, this i am giving credit to this timothy lee very also who has uh, written this book intellectual property where this he is saying about the this author has right to copy so very important right as this is economic right how can he make profit from his work he can make copies of that he can and distribute those copy to the public also he has right to distribute the work to whole world so that is also positive as well as negative right so he has also performed the work publicly as now 
we have also go through section 14 of Indian Copyright Act. Similarly, these are protecting the right of the author. So, he can also perform the work in publicly, he can display the work publicly, if some painting is there, some art is there, some movie, uh, we can say poster is there, they are also covered under the artistic work or uh, other things are also comes under that. You have also right to public performance of sound recording by means of digital art, uh, audio transmission. So, many FM channels are there, they are giving crores of rupees as royalty to take license of songs to play on the FM channels. So, so many cases are also there, we will discuss in infringement and remedies section. So, here we can say they have also convert, transmit in the digital platform also. So, here this right to prepare uh, digital work also. Here uh, this particular author has right to prepare derivative work also. As I al already told you about the octopus character of this copyright. So, there are so many rivers or so many hands are coming out from this copyright. You can do number of work, you can broadcast your work, you can perform in the general public, you can perform on the this stage also. So, dance choreography is also covered under this copyright. So, if someone is created a choreography, if someone is making movie own particular novel, all these or making poster of Chris movie, Chris or some we can say Tarzan or we can say Iron Man, all these are covered under these particular rights. That is why we are saying there are number of rights, we cannot say there are 6 rights, 8 rights or 10 rights, multiple rights are created, there is we can say bundle of rights are there relating to copyrights. So, that is the beauty of intellectual property rights. So, one of the another major concern, first one is section 52 of Indian Copyright Act, second one is section 57 of Copyright Act, very important aspect, section 50 says, says about the special rights of an author. Now, what are the special rights? Economic rights are also there, but here special rights are also there. How we can say special rights? What it says, just go through the lines. There are this section 50 says about the no one can destroy. So, under section 57 special rights are there where two we can say that special rights can be divided into two uh, spe, uh, another rights right of paternity and right of integrity. Under this we can also say these, these are the moral rights of an author. Moral rights means uh, you have also right to protect your work as an owner. You have also right to protect as owner from destroying or from changing your work uh, without your consent. So, there are so many cases we will discuss here in this particular uh, lecture. So, under the, what it says about section 52, moral rights of an author where you can claim ownership of your work that is called right of paternity. What it means? when someone is created the work that owner or author is parent of that particular work. The work is his child. So, he is claiming paternity, parental right of that particular work that is a good for thing because, because of that he will get economic right from that. Second thing is right of integrity. Now, he can restrain whole world from distortion here from mutilation, modification, amendment, which will detrimental to that or prejudicial to the reputation of author. So, many cases are there where author restrain, where author acknowledge, where author wants his credit. So, now a few days back the Chapak movie is there, where one advocate who has fight for the Lakshmi, the acid warrior lady Lakshmi. Uh, the advocate lady uh, who fight for the uh, this Lakshmi claiming his uh, credential or right of integrity uh, to the we can say uh, the producer of particular movie uh, for entering the name of lady advocate in that particular movie. So, in Chapak movie that I forget the name of that particular lady advocate who has uh, this claim 
right against pro producer i think mega guljari is there against that she was claiming and she won that case as she is giving uh, or helping that producer for making that movie she just cites some facts she has uh, given uh, facts of that case to that particular lady by way of whatsapp or by way of emails some email transactions were there some whatsapp transactions were messages were there and delhi high court granted this uh, and acknowledge the moral rights of that lady advocate so that is the beauty of this section 57 no one can distort your work it is because it's your work no one has right to mutilate no one can write to modify your work without your permission because it's your work so we can also now say this anil kapoor is claiming the personality right few uh, days back anil kapoor filed a petition for protecting his moral right now no one can use anil kapoor name anil kapoor picture or anil kapoor voice in their uh, cinematograph uh, movies also or any other serial on YouTube also. So, so these Bollywood stars uh, are uh, taking trademark as well as copyright on their work. Uh, for example, Sachin Tendulkar, uh, this Amitav Bachchan is there, uh, Madhuri Dixit is there, Kareena Kapoor is there or Anil Kapoor. So many people are claiming ki no one can use their voice, their pictures or no one can morphage there uh, these images in general public so that is also important thing and anil kapoor is also claiming copyright on his uh, special word which he has spoken in one particular movie youth i think the jakas delhi high court given uh, uh, this protect the moral right of anil kapoor in uh, form of picture in form of voice in form of other things but delhi high court refused to give copyright of this word or trademark of this word to the Anil Kapoor. No, this what it says, this is a generic word, generic word which is also used in Maharashtra, Jakas, a common word is there. So, uh, all things has been given, all rights are given to Anil Kapoor, but Jakas word is not given to the Anil Kapoor by Delhi High Court. So, very important judgment just few days back. So, similarly, this uh, Prabhas statue was this installed in Hyderabad Museum. Now, the this Bahubali director, when a producer came to know about this installation of that particular statue of Prabhas in the form of this in the dress of Bahubali. So, Raja Mauli asked to remove that or to give compensation for installing that particular statue in Hyderabad uh, Museum. The owner of museum do not know about the moral rights of or, or the copyright relating to all these things. So, he destroyed the that uh, statue of this Bahubali or Prabhas or he removed that statue from the museum. So, all from all these examples I want to tell you about the economic as well as moral right of an author. So, here we can also say very important case is there uh, this Amarnath Sagal versus Union of India. This case was also very important to protect, to uh, describe the moral rights of an author. This Amarnath Sagal was very important, uh, we can say renowned sculpture who are making uh, these uh, statue or we can say Delhi government has made a contract with Amarnath Sagal to make some, uh, we can say statue in Vigyan Bhavan Delhi. He uh, this made that particular statue and for that. Uh, this after few years because of rusting the Delhi administration or the authorities of Vigyan Bhavan remove that particular statue which was made of uh, this iron or brass or steel because of rusting. So, Amarnath Segal when came to know about this removal he asked to return back that particular statue to him or to reinstall that. So, the authorities are saying we are paying money to you uh, paying money to you already. So, what is the need of that? But Amarnath Segal, who died few years back, renowned sculptor is there who made sculpture in Vigyan Bhandis. So, uh, this uh, filed a petition against Union of India for this under section 57. No one can distort or mutilate, which is detrimental to the uh, reputation of uh, this author or creditor. So, here author is Amarnath Segal. So, 
he is saying it is detrimental to my reputation when you mutilate or destroy or remove that statue from uh, we can say from Vigyan Bhavan. So, Delhi High Court find this imposed penalty on Union of India uh, in K when they remove this sculpture from Vigyan Bhavan. So, that is also beauty of copyright because it includes economic as well as moral rights. So, similarly one another case was there which was not cited, but I uh, saw on news channels also personally where this uh, Vidhu Vinod Chopra has made movie uh, this three idiots on the basis of five point someone. So, when some payment was also made to the Chetan Bhagat and uh, this Vidhu Vinod Chopra made movie on this particular novel five point someone. When movie was completed and world premium was there, Chetan Bhagat was also invited to show that movie. When Chetan Bhagat saw that movie, there was no name of script writer in that particular movie. So, Chetan Bhagat was surprised to see that where is my name. So, when he asked the Vidhu Vinod Chopra about that, uh, ki where is my name, there is uh, uh, this director was Rajkumar Hirani and Vidhu Vinod Chopra was producer. That this Vidhu Vinod Chopra was of impression he has pay uh, amount uh, that uh, some amount to uh, for that particular story there is no need of this inserting the name of Chetan Bhagat. But Chetan Bhagat I, I served him legal notice also and I think at last compromise was taken place and Chetan Bhagat name was included in this author of that particular movie. So, that is comes under the moral rights of an author under copyright act. So, there are some certain, uh, certain instances are also there where Manisha Koirala also fought a case against this morphing or the distortion of image in this ek choti si love story against the this producer Sasilal Nayar. And similarly, this, uh, uh, this Malika Saraivath has also uh, fought a case against Lee Marion Hotel where his performance was broadcast live without her permission. So, there must be some permission without consent it amounts to infringement. In eve of uh, this first year in a few years back Lee Marion Hotel made a contract with uh, this Malika Saravat to perform this dance in uh, stage, but it was for particular whole it was not there were no broadcasting rights. So, there was also infringement and case was I think decided by uh, or compromised by both the parties. So, we can take example here about where these question paper are also comes under literary work. So, there are confusion in so many this publishing companies also or the companies or the publisher who are making uh, this 10 years paper. For example, MBD guide is there. If some university is there who is uh, invited the professors to write uh, to frame question paper. Now, the question arises who is the copyright owner whether it is a professor uh, or a university who paid the amount for uh, this framing question paper or a company to whom university has given the contract for framing these, uh, these uh, 10 years paper and another company who has made answers who has also included answers with 10 years paper. So, so many judgments are there, but in two cases this in two cases Jagdish Prasad versus Parmeshwar Singh here in this and Agarwal publishing house Khurja who has made a contract with particular board of school education regarding this made a one 10 years paper without permission of board of secondary education UP. In two cases court held that it is the teacher who has made question paper, who has made the question paper that is the copyright owner for those question paper. These are also included in the literary work. In Rupender Kasyam versus Jeevan Publishing House, Delhi High Court held that examination paper was a literary work. So, here we can say these examination paper is included in literary work and which is subject matter of copyright. So, we can also include this in copyright also. The court held that CBSC had copyright over the examination paper as it got set by the expert for the here this authority or we can say university who has giving the amount some amount to the for example, we are getting 1200 or 1500 for making 
paper for UG or PG. So, when amount is given and nowadays the copyright clause is also inserted by UST for avoiding the dispute or the controversy regarding copyright. So, now Delhi High Court in this specific case said about the, the authority who has pay, given the amount is copyright over that. But the teacher has also moral right regarding that question paper. But in these two in these cases, it was specifically given the teacher although taking the economic uh, this benefit from that, they have also copyright because these are the old cases, but here teachers were also is entitled as a copyright owner. So, we can also see here these copyright in thesis and dissertation. So, who is the copyright owner in thesis or dissertation? The student has a right to publish after expiration of in some universities after expiration of two year, the students or the researcher can take permission from controller of examination of any university to publish this work. If that uh, university has received that particular report from the uh, this uh, we can say evaluator, it is good for publication. Both report must be positive relating to the publication. So, that is for that the students or the researcher have copyright in that and they can go for the publication of these work. So, here also I can another and tell you about the very important uh, this uh, case was there, where uh, this uh, professor Jagpir Arthi from MD University Rotak has published one poem Court Me Kutta in Twitter or Facebook also. And uh, this Amitav Bachchan liked that particular poem and retweet it on Twitter and also on Facebook I think. So, here and give credit to one another person of Bihar. When Jagbir Arthi saw that the Amitav Bachchan has also uh, this retweet his poem on the Twitter or Facebook, he was very happy. But when he saw the credit is given to another person, because there is a moral right. So, he sent email also or giving legal notice to Amitav Bachchan, but he had not filed a case. But Amitav Bachchan has uh, given uh, ask for uh, sorry for that particular purpose on Facebook or Twitter, nothing was there, but it is a game of credit. So, many times it is Shakespeare is saying what is in the name. Nowadays, everything is commercialized, everything is the in the name. That is why these Bollywood actors or the sports personnel also there is uh, uh, this registered their name in intellectual property rights. For example, Gautam Gambhir has also filed a a this uh, case against another Gautam Gambhir in Delhi, but another Gautam Gambhir has also right because he has not uh, this uh, published his uh, cricketer or uh, cricketer name or any other pasted a picture in his restaurant. So, there are so many uh, controversy and cases relating to this copyright. So, this case was also relating to the uh, this particular uh, the moral rights of an author ki whether credit should be given to that particular person or not. So, there are some very uh, important uh, cases are there. For example, in starting essentials of this copyright I told you idea cannot be copyrightable, but we can say expression of an idea. Here Barbara Taylor has written one novel a women of substance. In women of substance uh, where uh, he has written novel, but one Indian uh, TV channel has made one uh, particular serial Krishma ka Krishma. So, this Barbara Taylor filed a case against that for permanent injunction, but court says the story of both novel and this, uh, this uh, particular serial, it may be an idea there, one particular robot is there, the scientist made that robot as a daughter. So, this is just mere an idea, but storyline is different and court has not given injunction against the Sahara entertainment channel, because idea cannot be copyrightable. Similarly, in Swember for example, a case was there where court this uh, held the Swember is an ancient form of marriage, where uh, Sita Swember was there, Drop the Swember was there. So, if someone has written in specific form, in tangible form, then it is copyrightable, mere idea is not copyrightable under this, uh, this uh, copyright. 
So, similarly, one another concept is there where this uh, ten sport has also broadcast uh, this uh, cricket world cup in 1999 where Prasar Bharti filed a case against against ten sports. So, Prasar Bharti is saying ki this uh, ten sport has uh, exclusive right to broadcast these rights, but Indian citizens were debarred from watching those uh, Indian matches also. So, Delhi High Court has also given compulsory licensing under this under this copyright act and allowed the Delhi Doordarshan or Delhi Sports under, of Prasar Bharti to broadcast these rights, uh, these matches of uh, Indian matches only in World Cup 1999 and they have to give uh, this 40 percent of amount which uh, from revenue generated from that broadcasting to the 10 sports. So, there are so many examples under this we will discuss in the next lectures also late under the infringement and remedies. So, compilation of data is also comes under that we have already told you about this compulsory license is also granted in radio mirchi versus super cassette industry under this copyright. So, these are the certain uh, cases where we can uh, see the uh, this beauty of Indian copyright act. So, just at last I want to tell you about this battle of copyright the person who has made this image is saying anyone can use this image there is no copyright in this. So, I am using this image without his permission here the knowledge is commodified everything is now commercialized under this now there is a free culture this corporate capitalism is there. So, everything which is in public domain is taken by the corporate these publisher and making thing out of that whether it is a traditional knowledge or any other thing which are songs of public domain they are making copies of that reproducing that that is also a, uh, we can say copyright dilemma in general public. So, there are so many other cases we will discuss in next lecture thank you so much.